What is up in the loop fans? It is a glorious 77 degree day here in the central Florida area. We are at Epcot. There's the ball. It's Drew here. Let's see what's new, what's fun, and all that good stuff that comes at Walt Disney World's Epcot. So Leave a Legacy is back uh, in this very Epcot-y colored wall here. Uh, the internet wanted to say that the rows were too high up, and so as you were in row 87, the images were too small. I can say the font kind of sucks if you're all the way up there. Also, the sun doesn't help, but you can see the picture details really well. No problem here. It's kind of cool that it's back. I am indifferent, but it's a, a nice wall here outside of the park. So like your, your front gate entrance is right there with the ball and then uh, leave a legacy behind it. So I'm sure you've seen this fountain before, but it looks awesome with the Epcot logos and the ball behind it. That looks great, glorious. I like fountains. Over here on the Galax Guardians of the Galaxy area, you've got roof work going on here and wooden boards going on here for the new entrance area. So lots of work's going on over here. There's people right here hammering something in. Looks like they're hammering in that blue paper stuff. The wa weatherproofing, it's not paper. I don't know why I said paper, it's definitely not paper. It's like weatherproofing. And here's one other shot of the building. The roof looks like they're gonna connect all of these little roof line marks together. That's kind of what it looks like to me. And then you've got your other shot of your entrance section right there. And lots of noise going on in there. You can hear the saws and stuff. Those guys over there, see them right above the fence line. And some scaffolding right there. With Interventions continuing to be torn down, this is really the most interesting thing, is originally the lights for Spaceship Earth were mounted to this building, but they can't do that anymore, so now they have this temporary structure here with the uh, giant LED spotlights on them. I found that really interesting and figured you might too. But the deconstruction is coming along, like, I mean, you step over here, there's nothing there, there used to be pavilions there, and then just sort of the roof line remains. But really the cool thing are these lights. National Gateway. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort for the final stop at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Epcot and World Showcase. Did you learn how to say hello in a different language today? With the breezeway closed, they've moved these fast pass machines to outside, although they're closed anyway because there's no fast pass. But they're sitting there now. Work is continuing on the Epcot Nighttime Spectacular Harmonious with these big giant barges. They look big and giant. I don't think they look as ugly as everyone is saying they look, but that's neither here nor there. There's some sort of work going on back there too. Nothing active, just Looks like a work barge back there, but you got all these barges, they get two. Apparently they're gonna be covered in fountains whenever they get turned on. So that'll look nice. They're not the worst things in the world, but they're not great.
but they're there. I mean, you tell me, does this ruin the view of World Showcase Lagoon? What do you think? It's always good when these guys show up. Folks, with one last look at the ball, that's it. Time to go home. You can see the lights are now on the ball, which means the sun is setting. It's time to go home, have some dinner, have a good night. So thanks for watching this and all of our other videos here on In The Loop. Follow me on Twitter, Drew The Intern. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash In The Loop Podcast. Make sure you are subscribed. And we'll see you on the midway.